Are you breaking down your yearly goals into quarterly priorities? That's something that I brought up today uh, because uh, Rand was talking about, you know, one of the takeaways that she had from our event last week, um, the Thrive in Any Market event was, you know, the idea of, you know, we do things that work to get business and then we end up getting busy and we end up not doing uh, those things on a consistent basis. And it's the typical, you know, uh, real estate uh, business roller coaster, right? We, we focus, we prospect, we get busy, we stop prospecting, everything gets in contract and then we have no business right after that, after everything closes, and we do the same thing over and over and over again on repeat. And you know, one of the things that I'm working with uh, our agents on on our team uh, for 2023 is having two to three you know, yearly goals for the year, and then really breaking down those goals into quarterly priorities. So for Q1, um, I want our agents really focusing on one to three priorities that they're only going to focus on in the first quarter of the year, that when they do those activities or those priorities, that's going to help them hit their overall goal. And sometimes these priorities that we do within the quarter will we'll go throughout the quarter. And sometimes you could break it down just into the month. Um, and why I bring that up is because Rhiannon brought up that she used to do, one of the takeaways that she, she took from the event was getting back to doing home warming parties for clients that just bought a home, right? And she was able to track when she did it a while ago that one of her homewarming parties eventually turned into 17 to 18 transactions from all of the referrals and business that she got from that homewarming party because of those clients. So someone like her, she may make that a Q1 priority to get back to doing those things. Um, and obviously she's, she wants to do it, you know, each closing that they have within you know, January, February, and March, but she may look at it as in January, I need to make sure that the only thing I focus on is getting the process and the system set up and established to make sure that this is consistent and happening on every single closing and homewarming party that our clients do, that, that there is a process in place and that we follow it so that way we do not miss out on an opportunity uh, because this is something that could be very big and beneficial uh, to our overall team business and into our individual agents business as well. So that's how you kind of want to think about, you know, when you have your yearly goals, break them down into priorities. And when you break them down into priorities for the quarter, that then becomes the filter of how you uh, look at opportunities or if you determine that there are distractions, that is telling you whether or not um, you know that's an alignment with with whatever you're looking to accomplish within that month or within that quarter. Um, and if it's not in alignment, then we, then it's allowing you to say no to whatever that activity, opportunity, meeting, uh, system, whatever it may be. If it's not in alignment with what you need to focus on that quarter or within that month, then you don't do it. You push that to the second quarter or to the next quarter. And if it's still a value and still an opportunity at that point, then you can make the decision of whether or not you want to act on that opportunity or that thing or that system or process or whatever it may be. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you guys have any questions on that, let me know. Um, if you get any value from this, please subscribe uh, to, to, to my uh, YouTube channel. Please follow me on Instagram. Um, connect with me on LinkedIn. Like it on Facebook. Um, I would love to keep bringing you guys value. So if you get any value, please subscribe to my stuff. And if you're looking for the priority list, reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to uh, send that out to you. Send me a message and um, I'll get that over to you.